What is going on guys, welcome back to another episode of the Aston Villa PS5 Career Mode here on FIFA 21. We have ourselves quite the episode as we play the semi-finals of the Europa League, both fixtures. And uh, yeah, this is potentially going to be one of our last nights, uh, our last Thursday nights under the lights. Because we could potentially make the finals against Benfica and Napoli and then eventually win the competition and then be secured Champions League football, but first we got to take care of business here in Germany against the Germans and the first chance does come to us Good job from Jack Grealish to steal the ball and unfortunately the captain puts his effort wide But a good early start good signs for us as we are pressing very early on and not that men not that much later uh, Dougie's gonna find Jack Grealish and he's on side and the captain goes ahead and puts us up 1-0 here gets us an early goal and the captain only 15 minutes in puts up his boyhood club in the semi-finals of the Europa League good play here by Tammy to pick out Dougie and then it was just brilliant brilliant build up play and the captain makes no mistake of it 1-0 to the team from England but here go while well, Wolves were here looking to get a goal it's gonna be Ruben Garcia to play it to Coop Miners and he's gonna slide it to Musa Dembele and the Frenchman comes really close to putting the Germans level but thankfully his effort goes wide and Hansen's gonna play it to Tommy Abraham he's gonna slide it to Madueke it takes a touch an unnecessary one and I tried to be too cool but it was just it went so so wrong and is this opportunity gonna come back to haunt us as uh, it was a golden opportunity but here comes Wolfsburg right before half time Moussa Dembele is gonna play to Schlager he's gonna slide it to Ruben Garcia and Wolfsburg are level it's 1-1 here at the Volkswagen Arena I think and the Germans are level through Ruben Garcia it's already looking like it's coming back to haunt us that big miss with Madueke I should have just put it in the open net but yeah anyways it's 1-1 here and now Close to the end of the game, David Brooks has a very good chance. He's going to run. He doesn't really have anybody in support. David Brooks, that's a bad touch. He's going to go for a goal. And sadly, he misses as Castile saves it. And that's how it ends. The first leg here ends 1-1 here in Germany. So the, last, the second fixture is going to be at the end of this episode. So yeah, I mean, we're going to find out if we make it to the finals or if we crash out in the semis and it's going to be a very entertaining one. But first we got to take some biz take care of business at the St. Mary Stadium against Southampton and surprisingly they're actually in relegation, which is incredible to think because of the players they have like Danny Ings, James Ward-Prowse, Kramer Rich, even Ruben Vezo, it's just ridiculous, you know. But Sanson is going to steal it and he's going to slide it to Ollie Watkins all alone one on one. He doesn't miss those Ollie Watkins puts up Aston Villa 1-0 here what is it like about 10 minutes in it's very very early and uh, yeah a really good start here had to rest a lot of the boys and Anwar Al Ghazi is actually gonna take her free kick since most of her free kick takers are on the bench uh, he had the best stats so I thought might as well let fly with Anwar we're yet to score a free kick goal the number 21 Al Ghazi looks good and it is good Al Ghazi scores the first free kick goal I think I don't think I scored a free kick goal yet with anybody but Either way, that's a very nice goal from El Ghazi, and we lead 2-0 here away from home. And uh, yeah, it's just going to look like a very comfortable win as Southampton are in relega relegation, so they're not obviously playing too well, as you can see. And uh, the free kick wasn't really the best. I mean, you think that the goalkeeper should save it? I don't know. You got a touch to it, but it doesn't matter, man. Al Ghazi scores. It's now 2-0, his fifth goal in the Premier League so far. We don't see that much of him, to be honest, but thankfully we do here. And uh, Madueke has a good chance. Look at the speed of Madueke. Going to give it to Oli Watkins. Open net pretty much. You don't miss those, Oli. Very nice assist from Madueke. Nobody's going to catch Madueke on the right-hand side. It's uh, just so, so easy. And it's already 3-0 before halftime you know we're cruising against Southampton it's crazy and here in second half Dougie look at this for a pass to Anwar Al Ghazi and if uh, if you're used to seeing my career modes you know what's coming up here Anwar Al Ghazi stop it it's beautiful Al Ghazi rainbow flicks the goalkeeper tells the St. Mary Stadium to calm down nah I don't think so Al Ghazi that was beautiful I don't know why we Took it a goal decision system. It was quite obviously a goal. Look at the player on the ground there too. Al Ghazi doing bits. And here we take a look at our own replay since it doesn't want to show us. Look at that Al Ghazi. Jesus. And he's just going to run it off like nothing happened. Beautiful Al Ghazi man. Love to see it. But sadly Southampton do get a goal. Unfortunately we couldn't keep a clean sheet with Emmy Martinez as Danny Ings scores the goal. A big fan of this guy in real life. Almost got the goal in boot last season man. He was, he was crazy. But uh, yeah the number 9 does get the home team 
a consolation goal, nothing more. And we do end up winning four goals to one. We probably could have won it by more, but, you know, we we just played like Park the Bus. I pretty much just passing it around. No need to score more goals as, you know, we don't really need it. But, uh, yeah, saving the players pretty much for this next game, which is in the Europa League semifinal second leg. But before that, we have some fantastic news as Ryan Kent is cleared from his injury. He's on the bench here, but I can't play him because he's still sort of injured, you know? Um... But yeah, Ryan Kent could potentially feature in the final if we make it here. So a very, very big last game of today's episode at Villa Park. As you could see there, Napoli actually had the advantage 2-1 against Benfica. And it's currently 1-1 here, looking to obviously win it. The first chance does come to us. John McGinn is going to slide it eventually to Tammy Abraham in some space. And Tammy Abraham is going to pick out Jack Grealish. And once again, the cap opens the scoring against Wolfsburg here it looks like he loves scoring against the Germans as he does it once again and it's a very early 1-0 lead here in the 8th minute 2-1 on aggregate and uh, yeah look at this play from John McGinn great pass good hold up play from Tammy Abraham who seems to love the Europa League you know but does, he, he hates the Premier League but it doesn't matter man we, we are 1-0 one, one, one up and uh, plenty of game left to play though. So here comes Wolfsburg. Schlager is going to play it back to Musa Dembele. And that's a very good tackle from John Stones. And Ruben Garcia goes for a header. But that's catching practice for Emmy Martinez. But here they come again. The Germans are looking for the in away goal. Looking to equalize the, 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 the game on the night. And Musa Dembele has a chance again. And unfortunately for them, it hits off the post. And then we clear it. But the Germans are not stopping. They're attacking Musa Dembele. He's going to hold it up here against John Stones. He's going to eventually eventually slide it through to Koopa Miners saved by Martinez but he can't hold it and Koopa Miners puts it into the open net how was that not offside it's just poor defending I don't know who it was that was that left Koopa Miners onside he was all alone he had all the time in the world and sadly though but Emmy Martinez couldn't keep the ball out of his net I think it was Matty Cash. Jesus, a horrible defending. Just left him open there. And sadly, Emmy couldn't hold on to that, like I said. So it's now 1-1 on the night, 2-2 on aggregate. And that was the end of the game. There was no action in the second half. We were pretty much both afraid to attack, you know. Pretty much defending. So now it's extra time in the semifinals second leg. And this is how I lined up. I usually play a 4-3-3. Yeah, we're going 4-2-2 with our two main men up top, Watkins and uh, Tammy. But uh, yeah, anyways, 102nd minute. It. We get it. Ollie Watkins. Ollie Watkins is going to see David Brooks fresh off the bench. Who's in the middle? It's Tammy Abraham. Can the big man find the goal to give us the go ahead lead? Yes, he can. It's Tammy Abraham has been rubbish all season, but apparently he loves the Europa League and he never misses in the Europa League. He's turning out to be a big game player for us, Tammy. An unreliable hero, you could say, because you will all know if you've watched the series this guy misses sitters misses open nets can't hit the target for his life but when it matters most Tammy Abraham is there and he puts us up 2-1 on the night 3-2 on agri what a game and in the second half here second half of extra time Wolfsburg are so tired put so many bodies forward Tammy Abraham is gonna give it to Ollie Watkins and we're into the Europa League final Ollie Watkins pretty much secured our spot into the finals and it's going to be an absolute fun one against either Napoli or Benfica. Just going to let you know next episode, not next episode, you'll see it when it happens, you know, I don't want to spoil it too much. But anyways, yeah, that ends off a pretty dramatic episode. It could have went to penalties, anything could have happened. They just needed a goal and they probably would have knocked us out in extra time, but... It didn't happen. We were the better team on the night. We were the better team in two legs. And we were the better team in probably the whole Europa League. As we finally made the finals. And have a chance to win the Europa League. As well as make Champions League football for next season. But anyways, if you guys did enjoy this episode. Please do leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And I shall see you for another episode of the Aston Villa PS5 career mode very soon. Take care.